Welcome back, my dear learners. Before English, you remember, don't, don't forget my name, Loyola Nakanjako. I love you so much. Hope you are ready for English, primary four. And you remember, we are talking about verbs. The last time we, met, we, we, we talked about verbs, those verbs that add ed, the regular verbs, and we talked about those ones that add t. And today, we come with the verbs, the irregular verbs. You remember we said when you come to verbs, we have two types or two categories. And these are the regular verbs that add D on the verbs that end in E. And then with the verbs that end in other, other letters, we add ED. Yes. So today we come with our next our second category of verbs and these are the irregular verbs we said irregular verbs we call them irregular because they change in different ways they change completely in spellings they can change some letters somewhere like when we looked at the verbs that where we are which drop e the keep we go to kept, the sweep, we go to swept, sleep, we go to slept. You remember those verbs when we are talking about them. Those are called irregular verbs. Even today we are coming again with irregular verbs. We said these verbs, we're going to categorize them in certain families. So the families we looked at last time, yes, we looked at the old family. So today we are looking at those verbs, verbs that change I to A in the simple past, and then they change to U. They change this very this I to U in the past participle tense. Remember the past participle tense? It is used with the perfect tenses, and we shall be looking at the tenses when we come to them. So today, we are looking at these verbs here. There are very many of these verbs. Don't think that when I write five, there are the only five verbs. There are very many of them. Now, when we say infinitive, that is the best form of the verb. The spelling, the best spelling of the verb, it is the infinitive. Then we come to the simple past, and then we come to the past participle. So we are saying these verbs change I to A in the simple past, and then they change I to U in the past participle. So we have the, the word ring. Ring, it will go for rank and then rank. When you get, they will be having the same pronunciation. But what will help us to know that this is a past participle, we shall look at it when we are looking at verbs. Because someone asked, now teacher, you are saying this is a rank and this is a rank. When should I use a rank with you? And when should I use a rank with A? Now, this is a past tense and this is a past Participle. When we come to tenses, we shall be looking at how we use A and how we use U. Don't say you don't know how we are going to use them. So we have ring, rank, then rank. I think ring can be a noun. This ring you always put here on the finger. There, there are some rings they put here in the waist. But now this ring is a verb of ringing a bell. In most cases, we ring bells. Yes, I hope you have ever heard of that eh? verb. Then we have sing, sang, then sang. They have the same pronunciation, but they have different eh? spellings. We have drink, Yo. drink, then we shall come to drunk, and then we shall come to drunk. This is also a uh, same spelling, but we know how to use them. Then we have to shrink, shrunk, 
then shrunk. Someone ask teacher, that one is somehow new. It is not new. Shrink. It is something to something to become small in size. For example, when you get an orange and you keep it somewhere, instead of oh, it will lose moisture and then it will shrink and it will become small. So this is shrink. We have swim, swam, and then swam. Now there is this verb has its homophone. The swam with you a correction of bees. Don't forget there is a swam, then there is a swam. Let me write it here for some people to know that spelling. Because some people will ask now what is that. There is this swam here. This swam here will mean will mean a correction of bees or a group of bees. That is this swam. But now we are looking at the swam. The past tense of swim, the, the past tense of swim, the act of moving in water with our bodies. This is swim. I think most of you have ever gone for swimming. Not so? Yes, thank you. Then we have sink, sunk, then sunk. To sink, to go down. To go down, that is sink yes so it is sink it changes to sunk and then sunk so that is the, the category where we change i to a in simple past and then u in the past participle another category of these verbs verbs that change i to u in the simple past and the past participle we have these verbs. They change to you. They don't have a, but they change to you in the simple past and the past participle. So these verbs are also very many. Don't say when I list only these, these are the only verbs. We have many of them. So here we have dig. Dig changes to you, dug, and then dug. Don't bring that dug with A. It is not there. So it is dug and then dug. We have strike. I think most of you have ever heard of strikes. I know most of you have never striked, but I've never struck, but you know we have strike. So striking, even, even the electricity can strike, but it is a strike, then it will change to struck then struck yes so we come to the word clink so it will come to clank then clank someone ask me what is clink to attach you attach something on the shirt and it it is clinked there it is something attached on either a wall or a shirt or a, a dress you clink something there you can get as something very nice and you want to put it on your dress so you cling it there sometimes we get these safety pins and you cling it on the cloth that is cling to attach then we have ring rank then rank this ring it is having w it is not the ring the other one we looked at this ring is two after washing when you want to remove water from the cloth, you do ring. You ring it so that you remove water from the cloth. Then we have stick, stuck, then stuck. Stick to put something. Most of you know the stickers, not so? Yes. So when you get a sticker and you put a sticker on something like this, you are sticking. Yeah, most of you buy stickers and then you put them in your books, you decorate your books. That act of putting the sticker in a book, it is a stick. So you stick, you stack, and then you stack. Those are the verbs. And we have very many. We have the verb to f that flee, hmm? the fling. We have the split, and very many. 
So those verbs there, you see, they do change to you. Then, we said these irregular verbs are very many. We cannot exhaust them. When you're looking at those verbs, we cannot exhaust the irregular verbs. So, there are those verbs that have families, but these families are small, small in number. So, we, we try to put them together. Those, those ones, I've called them other verbs. Yes, there are other irregular verbs. Yeah, we come to the verb bear. Yes, to give birth to a child. That is this bear. Because we have bear and animal, but now this is a verb. So we have bear. In the, in the simple past, it is bow, then bone. Now when you come to bone, bone itself has another homophone. The bone that ends in e here. And then there's another homophone, the bone. Yes. The bone that we find here in our bodies, we have bones. So we have where, wo, then, worn. Where, to put on a cloth. That is where. We have tear, to, then, torn. Yes, like you get this piece of paper, you get it, and you tear. And you tear. We shall say this is tearing. Yes. In the simple past, it will be toe. The teacher toe the paper. And torn. The teacher has torn the paper. That is tear. So we have other verbs. We have take. It will go for took, then taken, speak. To go for spoke, then spoken, work, we have walk, then walken, then we have awake. Yes, there is awake, that is awoke, then awaken. That is another, it is the same verb, but now this one has another A. It is awake. The act of being awake when you are not asleep. Yes, this is another verb also. So we have write, road, then we go for reading, hide, hid, hidden. Yes, you can get something and you hide it. We have give, gave, given, freeze. Yes, most of you, the act of putting something in the refrigerator or a fridge, it is easy. Freeze, it is the verb of freezing. So we freeze, we froze, and then frozen. So there are very many, we have drive, we have very many of those verbs, of the irregular verbs. So when I give out an activity on such verbs, you may find a verb that I've not talked about, but still it will be an irregular verb. But I don't say that when I'm setting an activity, I'm going to set only irregular verbs. Since I taught even the regular, you may find that there is a question that is put there when it is for regular. Don't forget the changes. So for today, we have looked at these verbs. Hope everybody has been following. I've tried to explain some of those verbs which have been, which have sounded like not clear, but others are very clear to us. Yes, I know. We have learned something in this lesson. Thank you so much. We meet next time when you come back for English. I remain Viola Nakanjako.